there's a new book that's out about Brett, the confirmation process of Brett Kavanaugh, the accusations. There's actually a new accusation. And in this reporting, there's an indication that the FBI background check that was done on the second accuser, the, 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 the woman from Yale, um, it wasn't done completely now. One of my old friends uh, can corroborate that De Debbie Ramirez um, talked about this back in 83, 84 with him. Uh, he approached uh, the FBI, and the FBI did not contact him. And there's, there seems to be a pattern here of not just the usual sort of uh, bureaucratic neglect or benign neglect, but of a conscious effort to make sure that some of these stories don't get out there. And that, of course, is extremely problematic. Look, if we brought George Washington here and we said we have George Washington, the Democrats would vote against him, just so you understand. And he may have had a bad past, who knows? You know? He may have had some, I think, accusations made. Didn't he have a couple of things in his past? Senator Graham. Crap. <clears throat> Are you aware that the day you were nominated to the Supreme Court by President Trump, Senator Schumer said, I will oppose Judge Kavanaugh's nomination with everything I have. If you wanted an FBI investigation, you could have come to us. What you want to do is destroy this guy's life, hold this seat open, and hope you win in 2020. You've said that, not me. You've got nothing to apologize for. When you see Sotomayor and Kagan, tell them that Lindsey said all of because I voted for them. I would never do to them what you've done to this guy. This is the most unethical sham since I've been in politics. The Democrats are actually con artists because they know how quality this man is and they've destroyed a man's reputation. It's a big, fat con job. And they go into a room and I guarantee you, they laugh like hell at what they pulled off on you and on the public. They laugh like hell. We mean, we mean no ill will. We mean no ill will. We mean no ill will. Are you a gang rapist? I'm, I'm innocent. I cannot imagine what you and your family have gone through. Boy, y'all want power. God, I hope you never get it. I hope you never get it. I hope the American people can see through this <gasps> Here's my understanding. The one thing I can tell you, you should be proud of. Ashley, you should be proud of this. It's been my understanding. He's entirely ethical. He's a really decent person. He is warm, friendly, unassuming. He's the nicest person. <laughs> Do you consider this a job interview? It, it, the advice and consent role is like a job Do you interview. consider that you've been through a job interview? I've been through a process of Do you of consider this consent. a job interview? Uh, Would you say you've been through hell? I, I've been through uh, 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 hell and then some. This is hell. This, this, this is going to destroy destroy the ability of good people to come forward because of this, because of this, because of this. God, I hate to say it because these have been my friends. Because of this crap, this sh and I wish you well, and I intend to vote for you, and I hope everybody who's fair-minded will. The whole truth and nothing but the truth, so I help you, God. I do. Well, I say that it's a very scary time for young men in America when you can be uh, guilty of something that you may not be guilty of. This is a very, very, this is a very difficult time. Say one thing. I'm here.
here today to tell the truth. I've never sexually assaulted anyone. Listen to the people I know. Listen to the people I've grown up with and gone to games with and had beers with. I'm not questioning that Dr. Ford may have been sexually assaulted by some person in some place at some time. I thought her testimony was very compelling and she looks like a very fine woman. But I have never done this. I was number one in the class, at the top of my class academically. One in the class. You've got to be number one. Busted my butt in school. I played sports. Get it, George. Captain of the varsity basketball team. My father said I can have anything I want. Went to church. Got into Yale College. Worked out at Tobin's house. Shut up, Keith. I busted my butt. I got into Yale College. Captain of the varsity got basketball Yale Law School. Daddy! Uh, worked my tail uh, off. You don't have to filibuster the answer. And I thought, no, 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 no. I thought only the Senate. You got this up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about my high school. No, no. I'm going to talk. Let him answer. This confirmation process has become a national disgrace. Right, right, you have right, replaced right, 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 advice right, right, and consent with search and destroy. It's an, it's an outrage. I didn't do this. I'm not, even, I'm not even in D.C. on the weekends in the summer of 1982. <laughs> and a man's life is in tatters. A man's life is shattered. His wife is shattered. His daughters are beautiful, incredible young kids. They destroy people. They want to destroy people. These are really evil people. This hearing's a joke and really an embarrassment. A f farce. A joke. This happened on a weekday? Well, is it, would, 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 I'm not at a Blair High School for a summer league game. I'm not at Tobin's house working out or, or hanging out and having some beers, beers with Suzanne. I busted my butt in academics. I always tried to do the best I could. So I recall I finished one in the class. First in his class at Yale. Top, top in his class at Yale Law School. I was wide receiver and defensive back on the football team. I ran track in the spring of 82 to try to get faster. He's had no problems. They've never taken him out of restaurants. They've never done, this is like. Um, service projects at the school, which involved going to the soup kitchen downtown. Uh, Let uh, me finish. Uh, With the church. Like a perfect person who's destined for the Supreme Court. I've heard that for a long time. He's led like a life that's unbelievable. I drank beer with my friends. 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 Sometimes I had too many beers. I liked beer. I still like beer. <laughs> I love drinking beer, which I gladly do, and which I fully embrace. Or hanging out and having some beers with friends. I love beer. We drank beer. We drank beer. I liked beer. Still like beer. We drank beer. Yeah, we drank beer. Sometimes we probably had too many beers. And we yeah, we drank beer. We liked beer. We drank beer. We drank beer. And we drank beer and and uh, still do. So whatever, yeah. Brett, be strong. Deep breaths. Brett, be strong. Deep breaths. You're a good man. 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 Good man. Good man. Brett, sweep the leg. You're a good man. No mercy. That is who I am. That is who I was. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Stop it. Today, today I am keeping another promise to the American people by nominating. Stop it. Judge Neil Gorsuch of the United States Supreme Court to be of the United States Supreme Court. And I would like to ask Judge Gorsuch and his wonderful wife, Louise, to please step forward. Please, Louise, Judge. 
Here they come. Please. Louise, Judge. So cute. Judge Gorsuch. Judge Gorsuch. Judge Gorsuch. Judge Neil Gorsuch. Judge Gorsuch. Judge Gorsuch. Judge Gorsuch. Judge Gorsuch. May God bless you. May God bless our glorious nation. Judge Gorsuch. So was that a surprise? Was it? Come on.